today I'm going to show you the secrets to making my quiche. It's really, really easy and it looks fantastic if you have uh, guests spending the night and you making breakfast in the morning or getting ready for a Sunday brunch. It feeds quite a few people and it is actually really easy to do and it's really impressive if you do it right. So you, what you're going to need is a 9 inch pie plate. Uh, refrigerated pie crust. Now you could make your own, but that would uh, take some more time. I just wanted to make this quick and simple, so we're going to use a refrigerated one. 10 eggs. This is half of a really big onion that's been diced up and a pound of maple sausage. This is a little bit of sweeter version. Uh, there, you could also do bacon and cheddar cheese if you wanted something a little more savory. Put some savory herbs in your eggs as well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and break all of our eggs here. Here's an important thing. We're gonna let these sit for about 15 minutes while I go cook up the sausage and onions and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So what I did was cook the sausage first and then set it here to drain and then use the same pan to cook the onions um, just until they're slightly soft. You can see they cook down quite a bit. That's the same bowl. So now we're gonna go about assembling our quiche. And so the first thing is to get our pie crust and roll it out. It's really important to let this pie crust warm up, otherwise it can get really flaky and actually fall apart when you're trying to put it in the pan here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in there. Now, if you like a lot of crispy crust edges, you could leave these on. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this off because I don't really like that dry crust and I'd rather just have the clean edge there. If you do leave the, the crust hanging over, then you wanna make sure that you cover it with tin foil for the first about 40 minutes of cooking so that it doesn't burn or if you have a pie crust cover. They make special covers that go over the, over the pie crust. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then you know, here's the, the trick. We've let these eggs sit. So they've warmed up a bit. They've had a chance to just kind of sit and relax for a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and add not a lot, but just a little bit of salt and pepper in here. It doesn't need a lot of seasoning because you're really getting your flavor from the eggs itself and the sausage and the onions. Um, and the savory version that I do with bacon and cheddar, I do actually put some savory herbs in there, uh, either Italian seasoning blend or herbs de Provence, or something like that. But we're just gonna add a little bit for this one, salt and pepper. And we're actually gonna go ahead and beat these again. And I think, I don't know why this works, but it just makes the eggs really, they're your quiche, your finished quiche, really light and fluffy with a lot of air pockets and just really fantastic. I kind of came across it by accident a few years ago. And I know some people put milk or cream in their quiche. I find it doesn't add anything either to the flavor or the texture, so I just I just leave it out. I just let the eggs stand on their own. Okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and pour this in here. And so this is my other secret. Go ahead and pour your eggs in, and then add your toppings on top of this. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but if you hadn't already, preheat your oven to 350 or 325. And so the reason I add these on top is that I found if you mix them up with the eggs, they tend to fall to the bottom 
of your quiche and you don't really have a good distribution. Actually, that probably looks like it's enough. I'm going to leave that last little bit. I'll do something else with it later. Um, my hands again. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to add my onions in here. And you want to kind of get a even distribution of them here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oven. I'm gonna do it for about 50 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you the finished product. Here's our finished quiche and you can tell it's done when you poke it, it just springs right back at you. And we'll go ahead and cut a piece. There, and you can see that uh, the sausage is distributed all throughout there. And there you go.